Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Centers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Marissa and I are hanging out with the yearlings right now. I wanna thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Um, we had some fun in the kitchen cooking up a family dinner. We'll show you that later. Right, I've been doing some work inside the barn and then what we're gonna do is we've gotta get some hay to these guys. We're gonna get some hay to the Big Joe herd and we're gonna enjoy a sunset hanging out with them. Hope you guys are ready for another bison video. Mr. Feisty. <clears throat> so some of you ever noticed, this is Haas, this is our uh, yearling bull. All of these, including Haas, will be two years old um, come April and May and he's become quite feisty here as you can tell here in the past couple of months He's starting to get a little attitude with that um, Coming in to the two-year-old. I guess the teenage years young guy. He's filling his oats, but um Haas uh, broke his horn cap a couple of months after being here and uh, it's grown back since then But um, it's just not as long as the other one as you can see The new ones are so pretty. Pretty sure those are uh, uh, Betty's eggs. Betty? Betty can't lay that many eggs, can she? Look, all these nests. So many eggs. I mean, that's how much right now? Uh, well, they're up like 70% or something stupid like that. And there's a whole bunch more right here. Yeah, okay. Maya. There's Betty. Hello, Betty. <laughs> Betty's like, where's my feed? Oh, is she molting? I don't know what she's doing. She looks like she's molting. That's one of her youngest chicks. I don't know if she's molting or got attacked by something. Jackie? What does she have? Cookie. Oh. It's working. Let's see, Betty. She's going there. Find some feed. I'm gonna go get him some grain real quick. Oh man, I'm making him work for it. What? I thought that's the point. <laughs> Doing a little work here inside the Ponderosa barn. I am getting a tack room ready. Tool shed, tool room, whatever you want to call it. Let me show you what I've been doing. So this is gonna be a tool shed. You got the RV, you got all this crap. I know, I know, it's a lot of stuff. So I've got sea purlin at eight foot, eight foot. But I got this sea purlin up here at 10 foot. So what I did was about four by 10 sheets. We're gonna slap them up here this way. Slap some up there, we'll have a little hangover of two foot. That's okay, that's perfect. Farms, ranches, you got lots of stuff, right? So we're gonna close this in and make this an awesome tool room. You guys are wondering what I'm doing all by myself. How am I doing this all by myself? Well, sometimes you just have to come up with ways to, to balance this wood um, so that's level right on this seat prone. I've had some extra, oh, I forgot what you call these, um, but they're oh, like quarter inch steel that we were using to build 
Hydraulic bison pusher loop built me. That goes on the front of the skids here. I had some of these left over and I'm using them to create the right depth to run along this two by six board I'm putting to uh, keep up. So you can see my distance there on the C prone. That man, I'm giving myself room to get the board to this eight inch C purlin <laughs> up there and up here. I've got about an inch left over up there and an inch here. And I'm using this, these steel plates to kind of level out the boards as I'm putting on here. Got some four by 10 sheets of this wafer board. It was kind of a good deal. That's why I put it up in here. And so I finally got this wall done. This wall goes up to um, the top. Sea Perlin is at eight foot. This one is at 10 foot. So I went ahead and bought the four by 10 sheets because it was actually cheaper. And then, so put this up, got some outlets put in. Yes, I've learned how to become an electrician. I wouldn't give myself credit for calling it an electrician. But uh, one thing about these boards is because they're half an inch boards, uh, they're a little wobbly. And so what I'm gonna have to do is come back and probably put a, a two by four or a one by four trim as trim here uh, to kind of suck that up together so that these two pieces come together. These boards are just a little, little wonky see you can be able to suck them up right there together instead of having a little gap like that so i'll have to come back and do that basically right in these areas here and then last we will i'll be able to do this wall here so hey guys welcome to the baker household we're gonna cook us a family dinner tonight i'm excited to show you what's inside this box i love hello fresh i'm excited to actually eat what we're about to cook, so join us. We're having a bivet steak with a roasted garlic pan sauce, mashed potatoes, and a roasted Brussels sprouts. One of our favorite meals. You can't go wrong with steak and potatoes. One of my favorite parts about HelloFresh is the easy, easy recipe. Numbered process of how to do it all. Everything you got right here. Hey guys, it's the new year. We all set goals and whatnot at the beginning of the year. So HelloFresh is here to help you. Skip the grocery store and count on HelloFresh. Guys, there's over 35 weekly recipes to choose from. And the easiest part, it comes right to your door. Another great part of HelloFresh is you get to eat well. It is a really good food and it's healthy for you. And guys, you can have really good meals in less than 15 minutes for you and your whole family. It not only about the, the quality of the food and how good it tastes and how easy it is to uh, cook it all together, it's the experience that we get to enjoy as a family, uh, putting these unique meals together and then enjoying the great taste that they provide. Uh, it's not just about the food, it's about fun in the kitchen with the families. May come as a surprise to you guys, but I can cook. I actually cook the most in this family. My wife would admit to that, but yes, I do enjoy cooking. Here's the best part. Mm. So good. Go to HelloFresh.com. Don't forget to use the code CrossTimbers21 for your 21 free meals plus free shipping. It's nice to get that going. That way I can put all of my stuff in that tack room and nobody can see it, right? Just as a farmer, rancher, it doesn't matter. You uh, accumulate stuff. You always have lots of stuff and um, 
it's it could be anything but uh you know you got to put all that stuff somewhere and and organize it and, and it needs to be straightened up so once i put these walls up and stuff i'll be able to organize it and it'll be well right now it is hay 30. it's been a couple days yearlings are yelling at me because they want some hay probably want some cues but they're not getting cues today let's uh let's get that hay out Hoss, what are you doing? Just being yourself. Watch them horns, buddy. You're getting feisty, aren't you? I'll back up. I'll back up. Okay. I'll back up out of your way. Don't tell me twice. Let me open the skate, though. Move your horns from the situation. I see you looking through there. Nightmare. Well, there's 32, and Kit is right back there behind her. They seem to be getting along for now, anyways. Seem to be doing okay. Then you got this guy. Yeah, she's getting her smells in here. The jumper is right here and has not jumped the fence in a long time. Some of you have been asking about her. She's right here. She's been behaving. There she is, 54. She has not been jumping any fences, which is good.
Haze out for the big Joe Hurd. Here they come. Normally don't feed this time of the day, but uh, just trying to put out some feed this evening and uh, try to get some of these uh, beautiful sunsets here. Just a uh, blessed to have something like this. It's a it's a beautiful scene back here, and and you can actually see this from the Ponderosa barn. But um, when you come back here, it's just kind of you and these bison. I want to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Guys, don't forget to go to HelloFresh.com and use the code CROSSTIMBERS21 for 21 free meals plus free shipping. Thank y'all for watching us. Y'all keep branching.